we're here at Yurong Beach Resort, um, situated on the eastern coast of Fraser Island, right on 75 Mile Beach. The landscapes on Fraser Island have been really diverse. The mangrove swamps, the rainforests, and you've got that beautiful, glorious 100 kilometre beach. It's the perfect spot for going either north or south up the coast. There's beautiful bird life here, amazing wildlife. It's lovely here. Yeah, really great location on Fraser. A group of keen photography enthusiasts embark on a week-long creative photo workshop on Fraser Island hosted by Darren Neal of World Photo Adventures. So who normally isn't up at this time of the morning? Look what you miss out on, guys. Isn't it beautiful? We got up crack of dawn. We're sort of quarter past five this morning. Beautiful, beautiful conditions. And we're on the east coast beach of Fraser Island. Really, really pretty spot to shoot. And we're looking at special opportunities. We've got a full moon, and also on the beach, we've found a special shell, a nautilus. So these do wash up on the beach. I wouldn't say regularly, but we found quite a few on the beach. Very, very cool shell to photograph. I'm gonna go aperture priority, F8, F11. You can shoot whatever aperture you like, to be honest, um, as long as you can hold the shutter speed. I sometimes shoot this at a very low ISO, and I'll wait till you get that wave that just washes on it a little bit. And so what happens then is you end up with a sharp shell, but this bit of water action happening. Very cool shot. Photography can be about just recording historical facts or family images, that sort of thing. But for other photographers that want to go an extra step, it's about challenges. And here, it's a really great spot to challenge yourself. And we've got photographers out in a group now that are doing little uh, macro work, they're doing slow shutter speed work. I'm letting them have a bit of fun. The only way to get around the island is by four-wheel drive. We're heading this afternoon north up towards the Mahino Wreck. And we're looking at birds on the beach. We're using the vehicles as a hide. So we're finding oyster catchers, plovers, lapwings, crested terns, quite a few different species. And the goal is to use the vehicle to get as close to the birds as possible without upsetting the birds and get really cool photographs. I'm using a long telephoto lens, a 400 mil. Uh, simple technique again, aperture priority, 5, 6, 400 ISO, continuous focusing so that I can track the bird. And we're looking at getting reasonably tight photographs, but not necessarily too tight, because we like to leave a little bit of space for some creative freedom. In 1935, a luxury passenger ship named the Mahino came aground on Fraser Island, and its wreck remains as one of the island's major landmarks. I've probably been here over a hundred times. Every time is different. And right now, our group's out there and they're having a ball photographing rust, holes, all sorts of opportunities. I, I've got to say, I've never seen it like this before. Normally you can't walk to the, uh, the seaside of the wreck. This time we can walk right around the whole wreck. So I've got my camera out, I've got my super wide angle lens on, and I'm having some fun myself. Photographic opportunities vary a lot. There's uh, under the ship at the moment, there's all sorts of uh, lines and shadows occurring. Um, the rust itself with old portholes. So there's all these shapes, lines, shadows, all of them add up as a photographer to be quite creative. We're heading back from the Mahino wreck and on the beach there's a dingo. Really, really cool experience. They are a wild animal, so the idea is you don't interact with them in any way. So you make sure you don't try and pat them, you don't try and feed them, you don't try and round them up. Um, they're wonderful creatures. And when we see them, what we do is we get together as a group and stay together as a group. Generally speaking, they're okay, but we're gonna make sure that we are the dominant animal. So if they start to look a bit aggressive, stand up, slowly walk away. So we kept the group a bit away, used our long telephoto lenses, so 400, 400 mil, aperture priority, um, but we had to shoot 1600, 3200 ISO, got some fantastic photographs to finish the day. We were shooting from the car, of course, so I stepped out to uh, see where he'd got to, um, realised he was right behind us, and it was all go, to be honest. Straight out, we've got to get out of here. We don't want to be hanging around, don't want to be on foot around a dingo. Safety first always. Get down another 50 metres down the beach and take our shots from there. I mean, we've got these long lenses for a reason. You can get far away and you'll still be able to get nice and tight and have a sense of the animal's behaviour too. If he looks unhappy being around you, there's always going to be another opportunity. It's not worth risking your life for it.